Bhagavatasa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambhutasa My homage to the Buddha, the Blessed One, the Exalted One, and the Fully Enlightened One. My dear friends in Dhamma and uh, Tama greetings to all the viewers who are watching live on Whatnot Brooks Facebook page on with English Dhamma Talk with me Pramaha Ashir and as usual we are here uh, with the live show of English Dhamma Talk and uh, in this occasion, this let's say it's a very special occasion today. I have very uh, two interesting guests, speaker here with me, and uh, both are international students uh, at International Buddhist Studies College in MCU. So I would uh, let them introduce uh, to all the viewers who are watching this. So please, Senator, you can introduce yourself. Okay. <clears throat> First of all, I want to say hello to all the viewers. Uh, and then, my name is Tenzin Dorji. And I'm from Tibet. And as Ajahn mentioned before, um, right now, currently, I'm studying IPSC, International in, uh, MCU. So here, I want to say um, thank you very much for Ajahn to invite for us here. And it's also my privilege to be here with sharing my knowledge and sharing some Dhamma with all the viewers. Thank you. So, thank you Venerable Tenjin to be here with me today in Simple Talk. And in my left side, I have uh, another guest speaker from Vietnam. Let him in I will let him introduce to all the viewers. So, please Venerable. Good evening, the uh, most venerable airport. Good evening, Bante, to you. Good evening, the venerable who are watching us, uh, lay people, the one who also watching us online. I am uh, Thất Ngọc Phương, a Vietnamese monk doing research, MA Buddhist study in Thailand. I am very happy to be here, be invited by the temple and for the talk applying the Buddhism for the uh, difficulty situation. So, uh, hope sharing something beneficial for the listeners. Satu. So, Satu. Thank you very much. Venerable Thich Ngo Phuong is also an MA student uh, studying at IBSC in MCU. And uh, I also want to uh, mentioned that he's not only a student, but he's also a meditation teacher. He also teaches live uh, to Vietnamese Buddhist devotees who uh, has interest in learning meditation or vipassana, right? And uh, it's a very wonderful opportunity, right? It's a very difficult opportunity to have both of them with me here. La even last time I had uh, Venerable Lode, right, from, from Bhutan. So, that was also a good opportunity, but today it's more than that. It's a very, let's say, an, a very special opportunity to all of us. I have Venerable Thich Ngo Phuong, which is from Mahayana tradition. I have Venerable Tenzin Doje from Vajrayana tradition, and myself from the Theravada tradition. So today we have uh, three uh, traditions of Buddhism here, and uh, today we are here to share about Buddhist teachings on applying Buddhist teachings in different situations right that how can uh, people or whoever is watching us uh, other people who are living their life 
in uh, different styles, let's say, use uh, the Dhamma, the Buddhist teachings, the teachings of the Buddha in their daily life. So today, we are here to share you these uh, interesting, in, let's say, in interesting issues uh, to live your life in different situations. Like, uh, you, you know, right, Venerable, this is a situation of uh, COVID-19 yes. pandemic. And not only in Thailand, the whole world is suffering from this pandemic. So I want to know something about this, this pandemic from Venerable. So please, Venerable, from take more fun. I want to start with you. Hey, uh, the difficulties can be divided into two the outside and the inside so maybe the difficulties outside we cannot determine because out of the control of our hands but at least this inner difficulties we have to in charge of it so life difficulty situation is almost everywhere every time and the most difficult situation is at the moment we leave this body death really and we fear death because we do not live fully when we are alive so the uh, COVID-19 infection make people fear they actually is not fear of the COVID-19 infection but they fear of death so I think we might look deeply into the reasons why people feel panicked and fearful in the difficulty situation like COVID-19 infection and then from that we identify the reason and we go deep to find out the remedy, the medicine bill to apply. Okay, you, you mentioned that people are fear of death. That's, that's definitely true. I believe that people. But I think uh, another important thing is I think they're anxious about these yeah. things, right? They're, yes, they're the anxiety true. are making them, <laughs> yeah. them, them fear or getting threats, mm -hmm. right? So you mentioned about these things. So what about the venerable engine? What do you think so? Yeah, actually it's true. So uh, we can see, normally we say problem or suffering, there's two kinds of suffering. We can say physical suffering and mm -hmm. mental suffering or mental problems. So right now the whole world facing both of suffering, mental and physical. So let's say for them, okay, first we can say the physical suffering. Okay, let's say for all those poor people, you know, the business, all those, you know, daily life business, they're facing the physical suffering because they don't have all those business and income and they can't get even they can't afford the daily, you know, like a basic things, food and all those shelters. So this is the mental, I mean, physical problem. So they're facing all those difficulties. And from the physical, all those people, from the physical suffering, it brings the mental suffering for them. Mm. Yeah. You know, the poor people, <clears throat> even we can say the, the middle class people, same, you know, from the physical suffering, that it brings the, inter, the mental suffering, suffering with death, then anxiety, and then some kind of depression, you know, the higher stress, then, then when we look another image, mental suffering, mental problem, those, you know, the rich, rich people, also they're facing not really physical problem because they have everything, you know, they have money and everything, mm. but they're facing the mental suffering. Why? Because same for them also, they need business and all those things. And then also outside there's a, some kind of COVID and because of that, the fear, as I mentioned before, fear. And then it brings them some kind of anxiety and stress and then still same you know the same process even depression and then those rich rich people they're facing the mental problem more and the poor people they're facing both mm -hmm. physical and mental so so here we can say how to actually we can't for them you know people who face some difficulty we can't provide them the, men, the mental I mean sorry physical support but physical necessity yeah, we can't yeah yeah we can say we can't support them physical necessity but we can support them for how to tackle all those from our mental so we can yeah through this way we can say something for them i see so venerable tenjin mentioned that uh people needs to start living their life from physical necessities yeah so because physical necessities are very important right we need everything it's not always that money is everything, but yeah. we need 
shelter, food, water, and all those necessities to live our life. Because, like he mentioned, that if people are living their life poor and they are stuck with this situation, if they they have already been living this worst, right? Living their life in worst, and they face they are confronting this pandemic yeah, yeah, yeah. and even making them more mentally ill yeah, so they are physically ill first then now they are mentally ill yeah, it brings so i think it. it's about people are suff uh, let's say suffering from this pandemic so let's say that what can we do to to maintain ourselves mm -hmm. what dhamma or what teachings that we can so let's ask with venerable mofuang that Okay, you you have, you are a meditation teacher. You teach a devotee. So, like, what kind of dharma should we have or make ourselves to maintain with mm. this situation? Like today, we sit on the van, the car to coming here. I feel sleepy, and my hand touch the bottom, and the mirror automatically open the door, mm. and I say, mm. I do not open the door. But someone open, then Bante Tenzing said, You push the button. <laughs> I realized like this. Any action without clarity, without the awareness, without the mindfulness, in that moment, we go going to do something very bad. <laughs> and we go going to blame others for the wrongdoing. And if something bad happens, then we think, oh. Good thing you said that time you didn't open the door. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good thing. Otherwise, not the bad thing happened to me, but the whole car, people there. So. The, the, let's say the thing happened without your awareness, yeah, without yes. your mindfulness. Yes. Because your mindfulness was yes. not under yeah, Yes. Okay. So, at the moment, no, uh, there is no awareness. At that moment, the disaster will come sooner or later. So, the whole body of this planet now under suffering these are outcome compulsory by the non-awareness of collective karma no awareness of human action you know the word of human can be lies but the action happen always prove the truth so now we can see the truth something have done before so this outcome happening like suffering collectively the whole human beings so i think the main reason here is not good or bad but how much awareness of human action whenever the awareness reach that terror that area will be safe without the awareness will be the suffering appear sooner or later therefore Satipatthana or mindfulness practice is a very useful tool for us. For example, here, the uh, Kaya Nubhasana body. If I sit here and I do not, I am not aware of my body, I will sit in such a very ugly posture. posture. Then if I am aware of that, at the moment I am aware of that, will be changing. So the awareness will be the best remedy for any kinds of I mean, it's problems, disease, even the collective disaster of human facing now. So, so you're saying that people need to have mindfulness. Let's say, if, if we just say mindfulness, many people could not understand what is it is. Let's yeah. say it's like a awareness, mm -hmm. the stillness of your mind, you know each you're and everything yeah. what you're doing at the right moment, right? Just yeah. let's say present moment. Mm -hmm. How are you walking? How are you standing? Which po posture are you standing? Mm. Right? In Thai, we use the word sati. Sati. Right? sati. sati. We need to have sati in every moment. Mm. So, so from your answer, I think <coughs> it's good for people who are listening to us that the people should have sati or mindfulness to, to live their life, to, to, let's say, to overcome whatever problems come. But in a pandemic like this, people are suffering. The first thing people need to have is sati, the mindfulness, so that they can see a clearer picture, right, Venable? Let's say, let's a clear picture so that they can, okay, they, they will know that how will they walk through? How will they, okay, if, if yeah, how will they work? So what about Venable Tenzin? Okay, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. We know that in this world, not only the COVID, this COVID problem, okay, if you look at it right now, in every, most of the Asian countries, they're facing the, you know, the, the water crisis suffering. This is mm. also one big problem in this world. Mm. And if you look at another side of it, let's say in the Middle East, war going on there. So, you know, in this world, there are so many problems there. This is the COVID is the one one problem there. Now, the most of us facing difficulties. So, if you trace why we're facing all these difficulties, all these problems, then in my point of view, it's, we can say it's lack of, you know, compassion. compassion. Okay. Here, what compassion means, you know, we have to care another people's suffering and caring. So, in Pali or Sanskrit, we say karuna. Or we can say meta, you know, we can use meta for Sanskrit Maitreya, yeah. So lack of all those things, you know. So because lack of compassion, so we we ourselves become too much selfish. So too much selfish, then we always thinking ourselves, our benefit, our progress, our development, or our you know, everything depends on yourself. So then this problem comes into this way. Okay, let's say COVID. Or you can say let's say water crisis. Because all this water crisis, you know, everywhere floating water is related to global warming. So global warming means because if you know some people, some greedy people, you can say greedy people, they want to develop themselves, they exploit the whole world. So that's why you know earth become warm. And same thing here, COVID, because some you know it's related to many things, but main thing is someone's greedy, lack of compassion, they did so many wrong things, then you know virus come. So this virus is not really, you know, coming from some kind of, you know, it's like a not God create this mm-hmm. some kind of creation. It's coming from the, you know, cause and condition. We can say, but it is some vata, or in Sanskrit we say, but it is some vata. So there's a cause and there's a result. So cause, so who, be, who is causing, right? Have, who is causing this problem? Yeah, right? that's is it. Really, the humans or yeah, actually, someone else? Actually, it start from China, Wuhan. <laughs> yeah, that's true. from China, Wuhan. They, you know, the most whole world claim that, you know, it's, they say it's come from China, Wuhan. So Definitely. We don't know the, what real cause is, because still it's like a, some kind of human myth, so we don't know what real cause. But it's come from, you know, through the scientists, even scientists, they say those viruses are not really the uh, natural, it's man-made. So man-made means people create it. You know, that means people know that that's a very dangerous virus. Even they know this is a very dangerous virus, they create and they spread whole world suffering. So that means because of lack of compassion, if they have a compassion, they can care some people's, you know, suffering. Okay, let's say if I did something bad for you, I, if I care for you, I will not do it because I know that if I did this kind of thing, it will harm you, it will feel suffer. You, it will suffer you. Then I will, you know, even I, I will restrain, restrain to do these things. Mm. So mm. the main thing is here, whole world problem, start from the lack of compassion. Mm. So if we generate compassion, even the, you know, call the people like a general people like us and all those, you know, high, high people, VIP people, all the, you know, the politician or whatever, you can call the scientists or whatever. If they have a compassion, yeah. they will care us, not only for themselves, selfish, self-centered, mm. they will care another people. When they care another people, they will try to stop doing it, you know, all those bad things. Yeah. Then, you know, the whole problem will stop there. Yeah, in, in, yeah. you lead me in the uh, connection, like, if I am aware, that I know this one, this hand belongs to me, mm-hmm. and I will not buy, beat, or do anything to hurt it because I myself will feel suffer yeah, that's if good, anything yeah. I do wrong with it. I can feel this in my hand, so no need you teach me that. Don't buy it. Yeah, don't hit it. Hit, hit your hand. Yeah. I will do the best way to protect for me to feel good. No need any teaching from outside. Yeah. When I am able to be aware and mindful of the terror more than this body, and I can feel ah, the leaf here is also one part of my body because oxygen mm. for me right now. Maybe I'm sitting alone and I feel lonely. I cannot connect with people, but at least I still connect with the nature. The connectedness always there with nature. If I am aware of that, then my, the body called my here is not only limited on this body, but ah, larger than. That means maybe one matter I include and you too. That if I know that you are not far away from me and you are not different from me, then I will not do something to hurt you. And that's no need any teachings. No need any 
uh, advice from outside. And if we are able to lighten our feeling to the whole earth that we know how to do the best to protect our personal body, personal mind, and collectively, I mean the whole planet and others live in that planet. planet. And therefore, compassion is the outcome of the awareness when the capacity of being aware larger and then the compassion will be deeper. Yeah. The recognition will be the first step for the compassion to arise. No. Compassion. So like I've just asked both of you like how which Dhamma. So I think I've got two two types, right? One from yeah. you, one from here. You you started from suffering and we need to have awareness, sati, awareness yes, sati. to put ourselves and think clearer. What is the reason of that suffering or how can we seize the causes? Stop, yeah. The causes, right? That's the first part. And he mentions that we need to have karuna. Yeah. The compassion. Whenever one reason, lack of compassion. No? Yes. In, in, in my point of view, right? And let's say, uh, maybe in, in different, in both of tradition you have these two. We, we also use the Four Noble Truths mm -hmm. from yeah. the side, right? Four mm -hmm. Noble Truths. The first of all we need to know is the suffering. What is the suffering? Yeah, that's true. But to know the suffering, what, what is the indicator to know the suffering? Yeah. That is sati, that is mindfulness, right? So you, do, you need to have a very uh, good mindfulness, you need to practice a mindfulness. Uh -huh. in, in Buddhism, whatever we do, it might be practicing meditation or doing our daily each and every purpose of our life needs to have satis. Mm, yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, yes. we can also say smriti in yes, Sanskrit. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yes. And you mentioned about the karuna. And we have the dhamma called the Brahma Vihara, yes, yes. or the four immeasurables. Yes, yes. right? Meta, karuna, mudita, and upekha. Each and every human beings are born equal, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We are born with our own karma, our own actions in this world. and. We cannot discriminate other people or look down on other people that I was born rich, I was born like this and that, right? Mm -hmm. Each and everyone is equal in this world. Mm -hmm, true. And there, not only the crisis of this uh, pandemic, there's a crisis about racism, bullying yeah, in true. other countries. I think big, due to because people don't see themselves like others do, right? Yeah. They just see that I'm a human, I'm greater than you. Yeah. And all these wars and all those things happening in, on social media, internet fighting and all those things. I think people need to know themselves first. And that's the important thing, yeah. When you say here the Four Noble Truths, so this is also, as I mentioned before, Karuna, and when you say here Four Noble Truths, then it's coming to the, you know, mm -hmm. invalidated mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. no? the the dependent origination. Lou louder, louder. Yeah, dependent origination. So because you know this is also one lacking thing. Mm -hmm. If you say dependent origination, then this may be some kind of technical terms. But the real thing here is people really can't recognize. You know, okay, let's say we, as, as I already mentioned, people suffering. The rich people, you know, they get a lot of money, but they really don't know. They think that they did everything, but in real sense, they are also dependent on the, all those people who are working under them because of their, you know. Kind of, Con contribution, mm -hmm. they're working, they get all those money and they become rich, rich and everything, you know. Mm. Okay, let's say here, right now we are speaking here, why we are speaking here, we know that someone is listening to us. So there's a, you know, listener and then speaking dependent. So same thing, this world, some people, they really don't know how much they depend on another people, you know, their daily life, their mm. daily wealth, income, their daily happiness. It's totally dependent on another people, you mm. know. You can't be totally, you know, in the, no, we can say, mm, Independent, independent. Mm. Mm. It's not really that we are always depend on another people. You sure. Know, society. Even if we are staying in society, we are depend on the society. Through the society, we can get happiness and all these yeah. things. Through the society and through all these things, you can get all you know your salary or whatever your happiness, everything from the. But lack of this understanding, interdependent. You know, you are depend on them. They are dependent also you. Lack of this understanding, then as he mentioned before, you know, racism and bullying, all this coming from because they think they are the boss. They think they are the one who you know, like a creator. They think they are like a god. So then they believe everything coming from here. Lack of this understanding. So if they know really this thing, okay, okay, let's say two nation, both of nation and nowadays, or one nation depend on another nation. So because of this COVID, we 
clearly understand how much depend on <coughs> each other. That's true. Can, can I mention that uh, you mentioned about uh, not seeing equality in people, but can we say that, uh, okay, in, in your opinion, let's say that it's uh, physical things, right? Physical needs. Because to stay in this world, we definitely need those physical. Yeah, yeah, this also but I think physical uh, and also, you know, but from the physical, it, the, before that, we have to, from the inside, we have to know that, okay, let's see here, because we, we do dependent, you, then I came here because of you. You know, like this, inside also we have this kind of knowledge, dependent knowledge, dependent knowledge. I'm dependent on you and you depend on me, something like that. Let's say that it supported each other, yes. like physical is supported by mental and mental is also supported by physical, right? Because, okay, we, we know that we are here to share some interesting things to all the viewers who are watching mm -hmm. us. And this is, let's say, we are doing physically. Yes. But we, all, we are also sharing something to give knowledge, give, share something which is wise, right? Yes. To, to help the mentality, let's say, right? So what about other things, Venable? Like, as I mentioned. Uh, because as human, we have a very great capacity to think. Thinking, we have two sides of it. One is recall the past memory, and another is imagining the future. But unfortunately, we was born up to the moment we get mature, we not get trained strong enough to deal with the great capacity we have. We are able to suffer the thing that's not coming. T tomorrow. Tomorrow is not coming yet, but we sit here, we still suffer with that imagination. That means we do not suffer with life, but we suffer with our capacity of imaging. Life not make us suffer, but our Im capacity of imaging making us suffer. And we are suffering with something already passing 10 years ago or yesterday. So let's say people are attached to past or future, but not in the present moment. So, yeah, so we are, we, if we suffer something that we're lacking, that is reasonable. But now we suffer with something special we have, but other species don't have. That is something strange. So we should look at the capacity of human beings, not for us to suffer, but for us to make the best you to grow up. And how to grow up without the disaster, the suffering, the first truth. We cannot grow up to get the second, the third, and the fourth truth, the four number truth. First thing is you need to find the yeah. suffering. Yeah. Know your suffering first. Yes. So human beings' capacity is to develop the capacity of knowing, recognizing, be aware, be mindful as much as possible. For example, when we sit here, all those things appear because under light. No light, nothing appears. At the same way, when we are aware, when we are in the present moment, when we are here now completely, then you are there for me. This Steve here for me. And maybe the beloved one there for us. The connectedness happens only when the awareness is there between two. That happiness is the outcome automatically appear when the connectedness because of the awareness. So I mean even the situation is difficulties is there, but with a strong awareness, we are happy enough, you know, we are stable enough, we connected with ourselves and with the nature, with the life strong enough, we are not the obstacle for the life to manifest through us. We completely allow life in any situation, happy, happiness or suffering manifest through it. And we are just the witness, the witnesser who observe the thing going through our life and we will see the truth of impermanence, anicca, or anatta, or anything. The capacity of human being is to be enlightened. We are enlightened through the good situation and we are enlightened through the best situation. And in Buddhism, the Four Noble Truths is from the best situation. And we can observe positively where 
that situation, the situation right now of the whole world suffering in COVID-19, we can see it as the opportunity rather than the disaster for us to grow up uh, the spiritual development, for us to see the suffering as the uh, Dutka Satcha first. The more we look at deeply in the Dutka Satcha, the truth of suffering, then the more opportunity we can find out the reason. So when the reason and the causes are being found out, then we grow up. Mm. Now we, if we sit here and we just lament the suffering and we feel anxious and we feel suffering, we feel no way to out, this, then the sufferings as a gift from nature, as the lesson from the Mother Earth, we want to offer us to enlighten something. We will, we will lose that opportunity. So be as a monk, I think, suffering is everywhere. The, the capacity to recognize yeah, everywhere, but every it, woman. It, it's, we need to understand that suffering. suffering. Yeah, yeah. We need to know that suffering first, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. That, that means we need to know means we need to experience it. Yes. Mm -hmm. We need to go deep into it. We cannot run away. Yeah. And if we try to run away suffering, we lost the opportunity to discover its nature and its cause leading to suffering. So we're strong enough to face the difficulties to encounter the uh, suffering situation or not. Most people, they don't have that much courage and stable mind. They run away. So at the moment we run away, we look for something else. That means some different problem else. Mm -hmm. So one problem enough for us to be here to look at it, but actually it needs practice step by step. <laughs> so let's say that when the problem occurs, or uh, let's say the suffering occurs, instead of looking into that, what, what am I doing wrong? Mm -hmm. or what, what is the reason behind the suffering? Mm -hmm. They just escape the suffering, right? They just, they just run away, run away yes. from the suffering. Mostly. Mm. So th th this is awesome. If we run away from one problem, what we encounter is another kind of problem. Yeah, that's true. Because the problem is not from outside only. If we run away means of showing us the weakness in, in us. The weakness is the problem itself. Yeah, that's true. Mm. You mean yeah. the weakness? Yeah. Weakness. Yeah, actually, in you know, in the Shanti Deva, the great Indian Nalinda scholars, mm. not only scholars, it's really great traditional of Bodhisattva. Mm. He mentioned in his book, Buddhist Sattva, Chari Avatara, he said that, okay, I'll the chant, I mean, reciting Tibetan, you can choose the Yunani Tilamen, you can choose the Menani Tilamen, what it just means is, if, okay, the situation, or we can apply here anything, okay, difficulty, situation, problem, but if it's changeable, then there's no need to worry. Mm -hmm. okay, if it's changeable, if we can change, or if we can convert that situation into the better, better side, then there's no need to worry, because he can change. Okay. It's, Nothing it's, is permanent. Yeah. Impermanent. If it's out of your control, mm -hmm. and if you can't change that situation, because it's out of, if it's out of your control, then you know that you know that it's out of your control. You can't change it. Then there's even there's no need to worry, because if you worry, even the situation will can't change. Mm -hmm. The situation will not change. So there's no need to worry. Because, you know, I mean, there's no use of worry. So for both sides, you know, if it's changeable and in from your control, you can change it. Then you, you know that it's changeable, so you no need to worry. Same situation, and if it's out of your control, then there's also no need to worry. There's no use of worry. So for that reason, same here. So we know that you know in this world, so many people facing difficulties mm -hmm. from the physical and from the mental. So yeah, we can't say it's actually saying no need to worry is very easy to say, but in the real sense, yeah, it's very difficult. Very difficult. We all know that it's very difficult, but as I mentioned before, the, okay, let's say the practitioner, people who want to practice, and this is the real opportunity to practice. Okay, let's say people who don't have really anything, to, nothing to eat, but if they are surviving, then they use this as an opportunity to practice. And in with this, yeah, his first teaching for Noble to him already mentioned that first one is the suffering. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean? Means in Buddhism, 
without suffering there's no renunciation without suffering there's no realization mm -hmm. so based on suffering we know, we know that there's a suffering then if there's a suffering we try to you know run up and just not run away if we try to get out of it you know yeah. we say the putta food or arahan all these mm -hmm. things based on suffering now because we know that samsara is suffering there's a no happiness real happiness is there so when we search happiness then we know there's a lot of suffering is there then we try to get you know we try to eradicate the cause of suffering and we try to free from suffering can we say that okay if we are talking about suffering, many might not understand it because we are talking about Buddha, Buddha, and yeah. I think, let's say obstacles in your life, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. Obstacles yeah, we, in in obstacles. our daily life, we have, we're facing so many different kind of obstacles, different mm. kind of problems, you know. If we, okay, let's say we can use those problems as a good way, not, you know, not like a hindrance or not like obstacle, real. Like, let's say right now people are facing so many problems of COVID, then you try to use that as a good opportunity to practice. Oh, this is not really place to you know survive. Place to you know be such a pleasure. There's a lot of suffering is there. Then you can use this as a real your life yeah. and try to know the, the problem. And not only the outside. Now, okay, let's say some people is not really infected by COVID, but mm. their mind is really facing difficulty, problems, stress, maybe anxiety, yeah, anxiety, yeah, anxiety and anxiety. stress and all this. Even they are not really affected. But because of their mind, you know, they think, oh, I may get affected. You know, their thought system, you know, we say that's a thought circulation, you know. When we feel, okay, I may get affected, I may get suffer, my family may get suffer, my friend may get suffer, all this affected, then there's some kind of negative thought is there. Then we say this, okay, let's say from the uh, psychology point of view, this thought circulation. Okay, this circulation, you know, this is some kind of, you know, negative, okay, let's say in Pali, the mecha sati, na? so it's some kind of also the wrong meditation. Okay, we're always thinking about those things, and even you don't, not really suffering, but because of your thought, because of your thinking, make yourself to suffering. Mm. So that, you know, okay, I may suffering, I may, you know, my friend may suffering, my family may suffering, something like that. It's always circling in your mind. Let, it, let's say people are seeing the ways in me. Mithyadisti. Yeah, uh, yeah, something like uh, that. Let's say it's not Samadhi. Samadhi is right view. No, this is view. wrong view. Right? No, no like wrong Samadhi. Uh, Samadhi. But right it's, 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 like against, mitch, yeah, it's opposite to Samadhi. Yeah, mm. like a Mithyadisti, wrong view. And then it brings, you know, at the first level it brings like a uh, stress, then mm. anxiety. Mm. Then, you know, if it's long, then it will bring people the imagine yeah the because they imagine it will bring them more suffering then it will bring the depression so for that reason what we have to know here is as you mentioned before one thing is we need to know the sati realize what real happening in our mind and also the outside okay in outside there's not really problem for them or some people in not affected mm -hmm. but because inside it makes suffering so for that reason we have to awareness insight you know inside awareness so so they can realize the what thought processing here is like a, some kind of delusion or illusion. You know, it's not really real things here. It's like a, some kind of our dream. But when we awake from our dream, we are free. Wake up. Really we wake, wake up. up. So, wake Venerable, up. I think uh, we will just greet our viewers. Can we s see who are commenting us? Really? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe there are a lot of viewers. You know. Okay. So I think we we need to s see who are greeting sure. us. Mm -hmm. Can you please open this one? Sure. Okay, I think a lot of uh, Vietnamese uh, devotees are greeting us. Please <laughs> greet them. <laughs> Vietnamese, yeah, you can, yeah, see, I can see the comment there. You can see the comment there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Please yeah. share the comments. Uh, uh, you oh, mean there, there's a Vietnamese language. They yeah, are quite, quite many. Uh, yes. And some Thai like devotees. Yuhua, yes. Also telling Satu, Satu to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Lim Bao. I think we need Lim to Lim greet, greet our yeah. viewers sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So uh, thầy kính chào đại chúng rất là hoan hỷ đại chúng uh, lắng nghe Ami Đà Phật. Mm. So uh, may go in on this point. I feel interesting when you mention uh, we change the circumstances yeah. better than let circumstances change us. It means we use the experience to grow us up, not let experience mess us up. To say so is easy now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, to practice is very another thing. Yeah, that's true. I mean, two things here so I would like to share is, for example, I sit here, it may my completely calm and I feel very wonderful insight. You might intentionally stand up and step on my feet. my feet, mm -hmm. <laughs> and maybe you feel oh sorry, Bante. 
very hard step but I feel nothing happened because now I feel blessing and happy in my mind so nothing outside impact me maybe you're not attached to your body right <laughs> because uh, I feel something wonderful inside so something outside is not really strong influence me so when the outside condition is not really influenced and impact on us when we stable inside when we stable inside when we already have some kind of happiness inside we already have the food for the mind to eat inside we do not care the food outside anymore so to have the food for the mind to eat inside at least we have two things the the moment of the the capacity of living in the now moment present moment present moment life never happened apart from the now life never happens in the past because if now i think in the past the thinking is happen in my brain now if i imagine the future the imagination is happen in my head now that life is only happens in the now if we go out of the now we are not connected with life but so if we are not connected with life Okay. So we cannot find the happiness and the aliveness of life itself. So we always look for an unstable. And if something impacts us, right away we react. I think I have another point yeah. to yeah. make. Yeah. With, and yeah. Yeah, of course, an <laughs> yeah, you say that, okay. It, <laughs> I have to ask at this moment. Uh, you're saying that we, we need to, it, it's, a very, it's a very good answer to stay in pres present moment because mm -hmm. Buddhism has taught to stay in present. Yeah, that's true. But what about some people who have lived good life, they don't have any problems. Maybe there is suffering, but let's say I have to plan for my family, mm -hmm. future plans. Mm -hmm. I have to work hard to earn money. True. If I don't work hard now, how can I feed my family yeah. we have this situation yeah yeah is it staying in a present moment oh you have work hard and work happily which one you choose if you work hard then you choose, you feel very suffering then the whole life suffering for working hard then finally using money for the hospital is not a good way for human being to live <laughs> so should work happily and to work happily we need to work in the now capacity so when like we sit here we imagine tomorrow we know that we are imagining so after imagining the plant okay then we return again because the people who are stable and who have the wisdom the capacity of their living is the less of thinking and when they think they think correctly exactly and very usefully they use the thinking they do not let the thinking using up their mind so when the thinking is running in our head it forehead is like a kind of disease diarrhea running in our head <laughs> <laughs> yes in that way we are the victim of our capacity of thinking so that is not the present moment so we out of the present moment when our forehead is occupied by the thinking and the thinking is occupied by the accumulating, accumulating uh, emotion, knowledge, and experience in the past. So thinking with the past is something similar. Without the past, there's no thinking. Now, if I make your brain completely no more memory, you cannot think. Yes? People need me memory to think. Yeah, the correct true. one. But that memory... Uh, make them suffer mm -hmm. so we sit here and we uh, suffer with the thing already happened 10 years ago should not be the way so happiness showing that that person live in the present moment but much worry that person live in the future and much suffering showing that that person live in the past um, so if we live in the present now usually we do not have much suffer because the now there's no suffering with the now there no past no past means no regret no suffering the future means worry and fear 
only the present is joyful of life. So I sit here, it's only one moment. Never 10,000 before I meet you <laughs> here, and never 10,000 later I meet you and you in this atmosphere. It's only one moment ever happened in thousand years before and later. So this moment should be two hands appreciated completely with our mind and body. And this moment will be become forever. So, okay, you know what I I want to make a point here that uh, we, will, we are staying in the present moment, which is a very good yeah, yeah. example, opportunity for everyone. Do not dwell in the past, do not think about future, yeah, right? We have, a, we have a word in Pali also. Uh, there's a very Pali saying, right? Yeah, yeah. The, 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 which means that do not dwell in the past yeah. and do not think about future. future. Just stay in the present moment. Present, yeah. And uh, I want to make a point. Okay, let's let's ask Venerable from here that in the pandemic time like this, people are suffering, mm. physical sufferings, due to people are jobless, people don't have yes. enough sufficient economy, people don't have money to food. Like in Thailand, many people are facing this. And I think very few people are happy. because they, <laughs> A lot of them are suffering because they are jobless. They are yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the thing is that, okay, now you've suffered from this. What is the mental thing? Or let's, let's talk about mentality now. Okay, sure. How can mentality, how, which, how can the Dhamma cure Apply to the poor people. mentality and... Uh, uh, make better in physical livings. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Can I eat something about, as uh, you know, mm. he mentioned? So, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me eat something like, as you ask him question about, you know, hard working and, you know, making something money for their life. So, okay, let me eat something about this thing now. Okay, yeah, that's true. So, you know, we all have this kind of, you know, <clears throat> we can say aim or goal. So, mm. future, I want to be like this. So, if you're too much attached on your goal, this is also one suffering, but actually to progress or to develop, we need a goal, an aim. But this is important. <clears throat> Without aim, so we can say we can't reach anyway. So we need something, okay, I want to be like this. But if you're too much attached on that, this is also one suffering. But when you're doing something to reach that goal, or you know, what you have to do is, whatever you're doing to reach this goal, you have to do it like, uh, okay, what, let's say okay, people who are working very hard work, that work should be their favorite thing. Okay, I'll give you one example. Now, when we were school, we have so many subjects there, like okay, math, science, social, <coughs> English, and everything's there. So, when okay, let's say the math is your favorite subject. For me, math is, if mathematics is my favorite subject, then you know it's not really difficult to learn. You know, if science is not really my favorite subject, it's, we say it's my boring subject. And science teacher comes, and then automatically I feel bored because without any reason because. In automatically in my mind, I already project that. Okay, science is my, you know, no favorite subject. Science. Yeah, that's something already created in our mind. So, like that, when math teacher coming in your class, when you say, okay, in your mind, you already project that math is my favorite subject, then you not feel very difficult or, you know, it's yeah, something like that. So, same way, in your daily life, whatever you're doing, if you do it like a full your attention, full your awareness, okay, as I mentioned, full awareness, and make it like a, your favorite thing, and you can make it everything very easy way. Mm. At the end, you have to do this thing, then it becomes very happy and you know interesting thing. This, now you okay. Come back to your question. How can we deal with all those problems? Yeah, the, it's very difficult to say. You know, this is precisely you know how we say we can say t tackle those problems because many people facing difficulty with their life. Like as mentioned before, basic things, you know, food, shelter, everything, for them, if they're facing all this difficulty, as I mentioned before, if it's changeable, then there's no need to worry, because it will change. I mean, everything is impermanence, we say, an nature, but changing, but I mean, the situation which is in your control, you can change it, and there's no need to worry, because you can change it. If the situation is out of your control, you can't change it, then even there's also no use of worry, and then that's one thing. Then second thing is, you know that you are facing difficulty and then if you worry that worry will not help you to solve that problem so you try to be sure. you know you try to use that problem as a, your practice daily life okay now i'm facing this difficulty then i have to practice something okay let's say you can analyze your suffering why i'm really suffering here because suffering not only from outside because we already have this body 
this body, uh, if you look at this body, we say this also samsari body, karmic body. So because of our bad karma or something, we born this life samsara. So because of also one, one cause is because of our body and our mental. Mm -hmm. Also we are suffering. The cause is also outside and also inside. Then you have to think your inside why I'm suffering. Okay, let's say when you sit in the AC room long time, you feel very cold. You feel suffering problem. When you sit in outside like a sunny day, you feel also cold. But the outside cold is the sun is very hot, but also your body is you know suffering. Nature of suffering, so you're suffering. For that reason, why we are suffering? Suffering all this nature and why we born this life in samsara? Because we did so many wrong things in our previous life. So it's this life we are suffering. So for that reason what we have to do is we have to try to accumulate more merit, <coughs> more kusala thing. Try to accumulate more good things. Even you can't do anything, help another people. Try to help yourself and practice. Mm. So it will help, you know, even you can't help another people, but it will accumulate more <coughs> merit for you, which you can bring next life. And even this life suffering, but next life you can bring more merit and next life will more like a better life and you can practice more. So yeah, that that's true. The, uh, the really should be purpose of human being is not really this very life no? because we are surrounding in samsara birth and death everywhere and therefore our purpose should be final enlightenment so we should uh, have the right view that suffering and happiness in this life is just like the guest house somehow we have to pass it but if we do the right thing the right thing will come to us even we live in very suffering in this very life, but at least we give five precepts of the Buddha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe we live in this life is not really happy, but with keeping well five precepts, we have enough merit, bank salary yeah. to be born in the next life, which is much more better than this. So if we care only this very life, we try to be happy by any cost, but actually we do not have the understanding of the cause and effect, then what is the outcome later will be the punishment. So look for long and right by right view of the cause and effect. Happiness and suffering in this life is just f as a tool for us to develop the capacity of being enlightened. And we have to keep the precept as much as possible. That is our aim to develop our mental and spiritual uh, development. If we aim happiness in this life, it's a very short one. Anything we gain, finally, the empty hands we come, then the empty hands we go. That, I will make a very good point of this, right? Yeah. It, you are talking <clears throat> about the precepts, yeah. which we say, the moral conduct and the moral virtues that every people <coughs> is to abstain from killing, stealing, sexual misconduct, uh, telling lies, uh, telling lies, uh, verbal, verbal yeah. uh, things, and all the consuming, uh, the consumers of alcohol. intoxicants and yeah. alcohol. So I think this is the basic dharma, basic moral that each and every one of can practice in our daily life, yes. right? Especially in the difficult situation. Yeah, that, that's true, and especially for Buddhist people. I, I don't know about other peoples, but let's, in, 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 in terms of Buddhism and Buddhist teachings, this is the first step to take mm. or to be a Buddhism. And as uh, the, both the Venerable has mentioned mm. that, okay, we need to have mindfulness to know our suffering, to know, the, to know, to see a clearer picture. And from him, I got that compassion and all those things that we that people needs to have and there's also one of the dhamma that i'm not sure about in both the traditions but we have the four kinds of sukha in this right yeah. so <coughs> in terms of buddhism that we both need physical happiness and yeah, mental sure. happiness physical comes from okay anything your your family your money your property whatever this is all kind of happiness this way i think uh, let's let's conclude it for mm. now from the venerable. Okay, I would I would like to say today to, to share something to sh to conclude what you've shared to our mm. viewers. Yeah. Mm. Conclusion, my conclusion. Yeah. 
My conclusion is the right view of human beings should be first. We live not only for this very life. And what the purpose is not to run away from suffering. The suffering is the opportunity for us to grow up our capacity of wisdom. To do that, firstly, we have to keep well at least five precepts. And in daily life, we have to practice being in the now completely so that our experience of life will be enhanced. And from that, we use our awareness to lighten, to make it wider, so that we are capable of seeing other suffering. And from that, we generate compassion when, and we embrace other suffering as we embrace our uh, suffering. And only by awareness, like a sunlight to the flower, or like a mother, we embrace the baby when the baby is lack of the mother. If we cry, and the mother comes, and by without judgment, without asking the question, why you cry, just hold and embrace the connectedness with the good attention, then the baby will feel safe. So the connectedness by the awareness, that is the best remedy for any situation. The first person who gets benefits is the person who has the attention for his own body and mind first. That is my conclusion. Okay, what about you, Vendor Okay, I will conclude in the four points. <clears throat> the first point, okay, as I mentioned before, as I mentioned earlier, that in this world, you know, not only the general people, also the, you know, all those high people, their lack of the compassion. So what we have to do is we have to promote compassion, you know, understanding each other's suffering. Okay, let's say I'm suffering. If you do something bad for me, I'm suffering. Same like you, you are also the human being one who will need happiness and not suffering. We have this kind of understanding. One, we have to promote suffering and, I mean, sorry, promote the compassion. <clears throat> this is one important thing. The second thing is understanding of your know, interdependent. Okay? Mm -hmm. Some people think they are totally independent. You know, they're not, so what we have, to, we need here is, we have to promote understanding of, uh, let's say this, uh, the Samaditi, na, right view. So understanding of the interdependent. My suffering depends on you, and your suffering also depends on me, and my happiness depends on you, and your happiness depends on me. So, this is the one cause, lack of the understanding that interdependent, so we face suffering here. So, second thing, so then in this, I mean, third thing now, so how can we practice in this situation? How can we change this, you know, difficulties to your positive way? Okay, one, there's so many practice, so I'll just give you one example here, okay. Maybe we all know that the uh, Angulimala Sutra. Mm. So Angulimala, he become he killed so many people, and he and later he become monk. And mm. then one time he went outside for the in the path. Mm. So many people hit him, and you know because he they know that he's like killer before. So he faced so many difficulties. Then he come to Buddha, and Buddha advised him, okay, if you face this difficulty in hell, it's much much more. You know, it's like we can say not double triple. It's more hundred more times than difficulties now you face your this difficult in this life so this is very small difficulties mm. if you face this difficulty in hell it's much more stronger mm. same like this way actually we are facing difficulty this life not only because of outside because we cultivate mm. we ourselves cultivate so many bad karmas mm. so we are suffering so that's why we have to think okay now I'm facing many difficulties problems so it's like you are reducing your bad karma in this life and you're reducing all those negative karma and you're facing small difficulty in this life in mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. if you face this difficulty in hell then it's much more double you know so through this thinking through this way of thinking you can reduce your pain and you know suffering to one thing the last one is then how can we eradicate all this suffering the one thing is we can practice buddhism but in a secular way of you know reducing this suffering then after the COVID or anyway, we have to promote, as you mentioned before, lack of morality. So this is really one thing, lack of morality, because in the modern situa modern society, <clears throat> the modern knowledge based on the Western kind of understanding knowledge. So in the Western kind of academic level, it's totally lack of morality, because you know, it's a scientific way of thinking, science and all those things against the, you know, religion. So when they say against the religion, they, they think that morality and all these things belong to religion. And they are out of that, you know, the circle of environment. So, the modern the knowledge and modern academic is out of 
morality so we have to put morality yeah. okay let's say morality let me say morality it maybe becomes but we can put a awareness and you know the mindfulness all this practice and the compassion meta because this is the our human nature so we have to put this in our academic level then in the from the kindergarten level people can understand each other the compassion and all this understanding education you means i mean put in education academic level mm. then they know that understanding this understanding then when they develop in, you know like a the major people they have right view yeah they have right view understanding so through this way we can you know stop this problem yeah. not right now but future we can pr- stop this so that's the four four thing okay mm. so, so so both of them has concluded or uh, let's say summarized mm. on mentioned that we need to have right view right to see let's say positively we can yeah, use yeah. the word positive view yeah. and uh, to stay in the present moment and the venerable right before me he mentioned that starting from compassion we need to uh, we need to see uh, let's say even the negativity thing the positively way right he mentioned about uh, the karma previous karma all those things and i think i think uh, we, sh- we we have discussed enough today right yes we have discussed enough today and uh, we will be ending our talk soon so before we are end our talk today let's us all bless to our viewers mm. uh, let us bless me first so before we uh, leave this live show today i would like to bless all the buddhist devotees upasaka upasikas all the viewers for watching this ratanata yanu bhavena ratanata yatejasa by the power of the buddha the dhamma and the sangha may all be free from suffering free from hostility may everyone be happy peace and prosperous life and uh, i think we will meet again on uh, next friday on the same time with me prama ashir and maybe i will have some other special guests with me so today uh, we'll be ending our talk simple talk here uh, good night everyone sadhu sadhu Oh, lots of viewers, huh? Because you share. Yeah, because you share. Okay. Mm-hmm.